Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to another Atlas video where something has just been released. This is breaking news for everybody. Before Atlas goes live, we found another Atlas map that has just come out with the names of the free ports as well as the names of the ancient ruins that are going to be available on the map at the get-go. We think this is actually a legit find. So I'm going to give you all the information I have right now. This map was put together by Data Freak, uh, and he says that he believes that these are going to be the points of interest. We have, let me go ahead and maximize this right quick. We have Golden Age Ruins, Hyde North Desert Freeport, Temperate Freeport, Tundra Freeport, Golden Age Ruins, Low Desert Freeport, and it looks like, anyway, there, there are plenty of freeports, a lot of them, on this map now whether or not you believe this is true or not uh, you're gonna I'm gonna leave it up to you but it looks as if this is legit so we're going to go ahead I'm gonna leave you all of the links down below in the description for you to go ahead and check out so you can research this yourself but it does look like that this is going to be the map that we're going to be on these are there's gonna be a lot of free ports and if these are the spawn points that you're going to randomly be assigned to when you start this game then things should go a lot smoother than I thought they were going to. Because with the thousands of people that are going to be coming into this game all at once right now at the beginning of Atlas starting, it is going to be a crazy, crazy time. So they needed to split up everybody across the map. So you will not be in the same place as your neighbor that did it at the same time you did, if that makes sense. Now, just to give you a little history, it says... Uh, so I was somewhat bored and ended up poking here and there yesterday and noticed that I could get a listing of servers from Steam for Atlas. There seems to be a very consistent naming of these servers, each having a letter and a number assigned to it, as if they were some sort of coordinates on a grid from A1 to O15. There were also some servers that didn't have these coordinates, but were instead named based on a point of interest that possibly resides at the place. I noticed that each IP address seemed to host three servers, each of them corresponding to a coordinate next to each other. This allowed me to map out where the points of interest were. I ended up patching together an ugly map based on the server names to see if it would make sense, and at least the direction seemed somewhat accurate. Looking forward to seeing how far off the reality is in a few hours. Guys, I am super excited. Like I said, all the links are going to be down in description. I want you to go ahead and check it out. You tell me what you guys think about what this map means and you go ahead and you use this map as you see fit. I, I'm sure this person wants us to, to this information to get out. But I'm sure that Grapeshot Games doesn't want this information to get out. But anyway, guys, you heard it first right here on my usual me. And anyway, guys, I'm going to be in Atlas in just a second. So come on over for the live stream. It's going to be a ton of fun. And as I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in Atlas very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.